Hi everybody, it's Mr. Bennett here. Uh, today we're going to look at the Simpsons rule which is used to find the area of irregular shapes. Now if you go to your textbook you'll find this definition here but I think a more useful way of looking at that definition is to look at this one which is the width divided by 3 at the first and last terms, 2 by the sum of your odds and 4 times the sum of your evens. So this is the example we looked at in class before. So we've got our odd and evens label. Our first one is 10, our second one is 0, so therefore um, when we add those two there, looking at the sum of our odds is 30 and 36, so therefore we times those two values by 2, and then our even ones are 25, 38 and 22, add those together and times that by 4, and that gives us an area of 2,892 metres squared. So, we want to look at an example for ourselves just to check that we can do that. So we want to find the area of this particular shape. Our first step in doing this would be to label our values as odd and even. So odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, and odd. And so therefore we'll label our first one as well and our last one. So when we put this into the formula to work out the area, it's simply going to be our width, which is 5, divided that by 3. We then uh, do our first and our last, so that's going to be 3.8, add uh, 6.5. We then simply add on two lots of all our odds added together, so that's going to be 20.4 plus 24.3. Plus 21.6. Then we have to add on four lots of our even ones, which is going to be 15.6 uh, plus 22.7 plus 24.1 plus 13.9. Now, if you go to your calculator and you put that into your calculator, you should get an area of. 746.83 and that would be square meters and that's as simple as uh, Simpsons rule really is so have a go at those questions and if you have some trouble then make sure you catch up with me thanks for listening and I'll catch you next time from Mr. Bennett bye